The annual migration of the monarch butterfly leaves anyone who sees it all a flutter. But how much longer this rite of spring will continue, no one knows. It's a question our Seth Doan decided to look into. It's a magnificent migration that's still a mystery of science. Clouds of orange wash over the forest canopy as hundreds of millions of monarch butterflies from as far away as Maine, North Dakota, even Canada, fill the skies here in Mexico. Each weighs just one-fifth of a penny, but so many flapping wings sound like falling rain. You've been out here countless times. Does it still have an impact? Absolutely. I um, stood in this forest the other day filming, and I started to cry while I was filming, and that's after 23 years of coming and watching it. Veteran conservationist Bill Toon was part of the team that saved the California condor. Now he's turned his attention here to a site that's both awesome and troubling. These butterflies are our canary in this coal mine. There are an estimated 250 million monarch butterflies that winter in this preserve. That sounds like a lot. It certainly looks like a lot. But imagine 15 years ago, there were nearly one billion because these giant fir trees, which act as a sort of winter blanket for the monarchs, are being chopped down. The butterflies cling to these OML firs for warmth. Without them, millions can freeze to death. This year, bad weather killed more than half of the butterflies here and drove the living deeper into the dwindling forest. The Mexican government set aside about 140,000 acres as a protected zone for the monarch butterflies. Still inside this zone every year, more than 100,000 trees are cut down. Mexico lost nearly 7% of its forests between 1990 and 2005. That's an area twice the size of New Jersey. How bad is the illegal logging around here? There is a lot of it. It cannot be controlled, Marino Chavez tells me. Still, he joins other ordinary citizens patrolling the woods to report illegal loggers. When you're out trying to protect these forests, are you thinking about these guys, the younger generation? See? Yes, he says. If I didn't help protect the forest today, they'll have nothing tomorrow. But even today, deforestation threatens more than the butterflies. It destroys watersheds, which can contribute to deadly mudslides. This one, just five miles from the butterfly zone, killed 17 people back in February. The best theories we have say that the decline in the monarch butterfly populations are associated with forest loss and forest damage. And a good part of that forest damage comes from people just cooking their meals or trying to keep their families warm. The average family in this part of Mexico consumes the wood of 40 trees a year. So Bill Toon's group, EcoLife, is building and donating these fuel-efficient stoves, which they say can cut consumption more than 60% to just 14 trees a year. Hola, Estela. ¿Cómo estás? Toon and his colleague, Christine Anderson, check to see how folks like Elvira Delarde are using their new stoves. With up to 17 mouths to feed at home, Delarde's priority is not protecting the monarchs, the wood we collect will last longer, she tells me. Now that this family is using this fuel-efficient stove, they say this is enough fuel to last them for two years. Before, it would have only been enough for six months. Though the plaque reads, friend of the monarchs, Ecolife now stresses the stove's practicality and the health benefits to piping pollutants out. The roof you see in here is a really great example of what her lungs look like after spending a lifetime of cooking. It's the equivalent of five packages of cigarettes a day. Ecolife is also pledged to plant a million new trees over the next three years. La maestra en ciencias, Catalina... And just last month, California's EPA announced a woodland restoration partnership with its Mexican counterpart. Ricardo Martinez is a deputy secretary at the California EPA. The monarchs are, are internationally important between Canada, the United States, and Mexico. It's something that we have to work together to protect. After all, the migration spans all three countries. The monarch has the most fantastic migration of any insect in the world. The butterflies that fly here have never been here before. Lincoln Brower, the world's leading monarch expert, says this magnificent migration is worth saving. 
how would the world be different without this phenomenal migration? Well, my answer to that is, what good is the Mona Lisa? What good is Mozart's music? We could live without it, but we would be diminished as a culture and as a people. There's nothing like it. It's unique.